So I wanted to show you guys today how I set up my meditation sessions and what got me into loving meditation even more than I did before. Um, I was one of those people that could really only close my mind off for about a minute and a half to two minutes and then I just spiral into thought. So it took me a while and I met this awesome guy who is a spiritual leader and he's super cool life coach and all that stuff. And we did a couple meditation sessions together and I just really fell in love with the process of setting it up and just being in a very a different frame of mind and using crystals and incense and things like that to kind of put you in a better frame of mind. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my routine and what I do to get myself started on meditation. So this is my room. <laughs> so I had to have it a little bit set up. So I just have like a bunch of pillows around my big sheet and just a bunch of colors and stuff. And then there I have just a stand and I just put like my crystal therapy book. I have some oracle cards. Um, I'm meditating in the shape of a triangle today. So that's for, um, that is to overcome inner conflict, enhance creativity and good luck. So that is super cool. So that's what we're gonna meditate in today. And uh, yeah, so I'm just right now burning sage. So this is my sage. So the process that you're gonna to wanna to do is just stand and just sage yourself. So make it, put yourself in a good frame of mind. Um, typically I would be playing binaural beats or some sort of mantra or anything. And honestly, I just go all over, all over my body, wherever I feel like I need it. Just wrap around and totally clear yourself of negative energy. And it's just really great. So you can do this all over your house. You can kind of sage your energy in your house and clear everything that's going on in your life as well. So it's really cool. So I love blue sage. Um, I also just have a ton of random stuff in my room. So I have like feathers, and this was a fan one because I'm a vegan, so you know. No exploding animals and taking my feathers. <laughs> um, some incense. I, like I said, I have crystals. I have rocks that I just collect. Like everything has energy. So anything that I can bring in that has energy, I do. I'll open the window. Crazy colors in your room that will always help open up your chakras. Different colors for different um, different chakras. And red is the base chakra. So that's your first chakra that you want to work on and you want to continuously work your way up. So I'll just burn the blue sage. Um, or you can get white sage. Blue sage is if you're wanting a little bit more of a powerful, intense cleaning. Like if you're really wanting to do a crazy clean, this is sweet grass. So this enhances positive energy and brings about good spirit. So same concept. Just dose yourself in the positive energy and spirit. Every crystal is different. So I have like a ton of stuff for crystals. Um, sometimes I don't really meditate with crystals and I'll just stick with meditating. Um, on just the music alone. Yes. So I do do the whole routine and you want to start in clockwise motion. So I place them in a specific order. So this one is spirit. So I always start with my spirit. So I always want to bring my spirit's guides in with me and I just really connect with having my white light. And the spirit, it says, I am spiritual. I move beyond the physical into the light filled with hope, love, and joy. So I repeat these every single time I light them. I can write them all down for you guys, so I'm not saying all of them. I'll put them in the description below. Protection, I am safe and at ease in my body and spirit. So I say these things to myself, and um, it just does, it puts me in a very different frame of mind and at ease. So this is my triangle, so I don't really want to separate from my triangle too much. The yellow one is for positive energy, and they always recommend that if you're going to light, um, a black candle, it is good to offset it with a positive uh, yellow candle just because um, black can kind of bring about negative stuff sometimes if you're not cautious of it. So be a little cautious. <laughs> motivation, because who doesn't love any motivation? <laughs> Especially before a meditation session. So then, honestly, you guys, I will literally just play some music. So these are the mantras, and you can find different ones. And typically, I start off, and I will start a meditation. And this is a couple deep breaths. So I typically will do this facing the window. This is the window, so I come in and I take in all the light. So I'm going to show you guys facing this so you can see. Me. You just stand, palms facing outwards. Take a deep breath. 
hold it up with your palms flat, take in all of the light and the positive energy, and then on your exhale, you want to push out all of the negative energy. So do it again, so. And you'll do this about three to seven times. I typically will do about five. Then, you honestly, you guys, you just want to meditate. So get yourself in a comfortable position. Everybody's different. I think that, you know, there's certain positions that work for different, for certain people. So, you know, grab a pillow if you want. And just sit on your knees. It's perfectly fine. You're still opening yourself up. You just have your hands open. And honestly, I could still meditate forever right now, but just wanted to show you guys how it is. So having your music, it just helps people, I find, connect more with themselves because they don't lose themselves in their kind of thought because they're focusing on the mantra. And every mantra means something different. So, and again, you can meditate with binaural beats, you can meditate with meditation music, with relaxing sounds, with white noise, with anything if you just want kind of a little bit of distraction to help. So meditate, <laughs> again, it all depends on how long you're wanting to go for. If you only have time for three minutes, that's perfectly fine. I honestly, you guys, don't meditate in this room every day. I specifically will make a point to connect with my spirit guides. I will talk to them and get them to chat with me if they're willing, if they want to. And then when I'm all done, I do really enjoy, and this is, honestly, you guys can find different rituals that work for you. This was not something that I read anywhere. This is just something that I started to really resonate with when I did this. And I loved it, so I do it. So I just blow out all the candles and I will literally just engulf myself in the smoke of all the candles and when I notice which candle is the last one being burnt and the last one to have smoke on is what I focus on for that day. So there's things that you guys can do too and you don't need to be specific, like you can make your own spiritual routine. So it's really cool. So. So it looks like abundance was the last one left today. So, abundance. May an abundance of goodness flow freely into my life. And that's what I focus on for the day. And then I do have my super cool oracle cards that I finish sessions with. So again, because I do this like three times a week, I won't go, if I don't have enough time to do this every day, I won't. So I have money and law of attraction cards. And then I have divine guidance cards, they're high vibrational. So you can see how the ripples are insane and there's just like a lot going on. So you get that in a lot of them. So they're very crazy and they all mean something different. So you wanna flip them upside down. You kind of do like, you're not, you're not going to pick something that you're gravitating towards. You're doing this blindsided. So you have, that's the top of the deck and just fan it out. Everybody, again, does it differently. Some people just pick, and that's fine. I actually kind of feel my energy a little bit. And whenever, whenever I feel kind of like a surge telling me to stop, I will stop. And you guys, like, this is the process that I love. Like, I'm, I'm connecting with what I'm doing. I'm just focusing on what I'm doing. So my three card guidance spread. Uh, the first card represents the situation. So I picked number 20, which is loved ones. So 20 is a really pretty big card. Okay, so I'm just going to read you guys one of them. Um, so this one is, your friends and loved ones who have crossed over want you to know that they are with you. They are wrapping their loving energy around you and ask you to feel peace and serenity within your heart and mind about their passing. They are living and enjoying the other side and deeply desire to feel peaceful within this world. They ask that you surrender any painful emotions you are holding on to and allow their loving presence to flow within your heart, bringing forth peace, serenity, and feeling of loving energy and joyful life, the gift of love here on earth. So that is what I am going to show you guys. So this is a little bit of how this kind of works. So it's a little crazy because sometimes you just pick the cards that you really need. I've been having a really, really hard time with a friend that had passed away um, like eight years ago, and I've just been thinking about him a lot. So. That's just kind of like how you can see <laughs> what happens and it just, if you're not making a video and you're just kind of like in your mind, it really can hit home and it can really like wake you up and different awakenings and things. So 
Well, that's super cool. <laughs> I did not expect to pick that card with you guys today, so I'm sorry. Um, that's kind of just how I like finished my session. And then I always will thank my spirit guides. So I definitely always um, stand up and do another couple deep breaths and stuff. Namaste, Shuna. And I always give them two kisses because that's just what they do. So my spirit guides always get a namaste and a Shuna every time I leave this room. And I always give them two kisses because I always want to show them love and respect and appreciation because that's just what everything should be about. So that's my meditation process. I know it was long, um, but hopefully you guys like this video. And if you have any questions about meditation or anything you want to know about spirituality or whatever, just leave comments below and I will answer you guys as soon as I can because you all rock. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like this video and subscribe and we'll chat later. Bye!